We're here at H-E-L-N-L Stadium in Gehenna, Texas. Owner GM and coach Scary Clones wants his newly completed art installation to get the crowd pumped. But most are just wondering why a bunch of naked painted orcs are gyrating in the lobby. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Grim Bay Attackers battle. The Malice Hellboys. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> it's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pot pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the rest early and often. No mercy. First down. And it's first and ten. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta, uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. With kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Huh? 
And it's first and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and six. Should have. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut and you'll tire these guys out. First down. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets the quarterback for a sack. Second down in a lot. And not the worst feet, dirty prick. Look at him go. It's the flash. That's a six yard gain on that catch. Third down and five. Turn here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And it's first and ten. up 10 on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married Trim Big Assian. And I nearly did not crap my pants earlier. Nearly as overrated, Grim. Second down the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down! That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. And it's first and ten. And he gets 
gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. Second down and more. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. here just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies when you give up points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay Foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. makes a grab for five yards. Second down and five. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. First. 
first and ten. And this guy is on Fuego. Does he like his original man about a six-yard gain? Hey, do me a favor. My pro office it calls. I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Now these guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. And by talk, I mean stuff them into the ground. Second down, and, he, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Uh, I forgot my point. Third down and, well, good luck. play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. First down and one. Uh, uh, uh. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Well, that should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. Two minutes remain in the half. Great! I gotta take a stop! Again? You just went. How is that even possible? Ah, it's the nachos, man! Want some? And it's first and ten. He runs it for three. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Second down and seven. And the defense gives up five yards there. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. Third and two. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. Hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And it's first and ten. Catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And that'll be second down and four. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yeah. Time 
sharp, dirty trick called by the D, and the offense is pissed. <laughs> oh, for you kids at home, that's how you play mutant football. Hey, wait a minute. What the? Ah, uh, did they? Didn't they just? Uh, am I losing my mind? Or did that play that I saw just not happen? Uh, I gotta stop smoking them untidy laundry pods. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. A field goal attempt here makes perfect sense. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the points and let's move on. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. for six yards. And that's the end of the second quarter. Seminole will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. Oh. Talk for the first down. And it's first and ten. Burners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Oh, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, bigger than yours. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And 
It's first and ten. Second down in a lot. He watches 60 minutes and 60 seconds. Third down in forever. And he held on to that one for a first down. First and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. Third and two. First down and seven. Nicely done. Picks up three on that pass play. Ooh la la. Second and three. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Third down and three. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkey skin ramping on his backside from that bad bird he had last year. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. No touchdown today. Looks like that defender ate his bleedings this morning. And it's first and ten. First down and nine. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay.
Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. And the defense stops him cold. That play just got blown to hell. Yeah, it got blown to shit. Speaking of blow, where's my little vial? Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I had the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. Looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third and two. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. The kick is good. Eh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. First and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Second down and five. This is your brain, and this is... Oh, man, Brooks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good return. Oh, he just got crushed. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. Wow, he took like a thousand volts of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Borden, the ex murderer. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four and So yeah, I guess it worked for her. And it's 
first and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Third and two. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. Two minutes remaining in the game. We'll be right back, folks. Jeez, can this game take any longer? I got a date with Hot Wanda after this. Junior, I told you that girl is nothing but trouble. And I don't think that's a mole on her lip either. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat buffets? They're not as literal as you think. They stunt the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. They use their second time out, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Ah. And they fool the defense with a run play and pick up the first down. Ah, oh, that is such bullshit. I got money on this game. These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. If I talk, I mean, stomp them into the ground. Oh, yeah. This is the game. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. I hope that bribe covered funeral expenses. And the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. First and four. And the crowd goes wild! Touchdown! Touchdown! Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Team hates it. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Second 
second. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Wow, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the pair of men. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. The defense looks hungry out there. The quarterback better watch himself. And they're still alive, like a zombie. You know, dead man walking. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Pass and catch for three. Receiver needs to break some tackles. The Mellis Hellboys lose today's game. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Well, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotrophism. Yeah, baby, I'm the greatest. Oh, you didn't stick. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brick Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every other.